Okay, next uh, thing to quickly mention, um, shape indexes. We can now, another big cheer going up because we can write indexes to shape now. You need to have ArcGIS installed, but uh, there's this parameter that says write spatial index, yes or no. So I can say yes, let's write a spatial index. And I run this and you should see down at the bottom it says in my log, it says checking out an ArcGIS license, writing a spatial index for that feature class. And it's also writing attribute indexes as well, which we cool. couldn't do before. Uh, Is so that in the, in, yeah. In the user attributes Look tab, yes. And you can set an index now, so fantastic. And just to prove that it worked, let's have a look in the containing folder. Wow. And we have, is it the SBX and the SBN are the index? I believe and it is. Yes. And this is a good argument for using a zip file for your output. Absolutely, yes. I should have zipped that um, output up instead. In fact, I probably can do it. Um, how do I zip that? Okay, just so dot zip. just add dot zip on the end, I think. Or there or it is you the can, button. You can use the drop down list, yes, because you don't cool. have zip icon there, and I thought it was missing. But if you just do zip output, I yeah, never even knew right. that. Yeah, because I filed a problem and said, "Hey, it's that diet, that thing's missing." Well, it's it's there. So, so yes, you're right. And now, if I kept that dialog open, there we go. So it's all zipped up. Yeah. I think somebody asked what versions of ArcGIS. So I'm gonna have to ask the support experts at Safe. But I think actually, just about any ArcGIS, if you've got it installed, we can write that. And I think all the ArcGISs from eight on will read those things. Yes. I believe so.